Hey guys, um, welcome to Friday. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to your weekend and I hope things are still going well for all of you. Um, today I just kind of want to walk you through what is expected of you today and um, get into the definition of symbolism a little bit, a little bit for you. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch this video, um, which will walk you through the different steps that are expected for you to complete today. Um, first, then after that, you're going to reread the medicine bag. Um, the reason I'm having you do this is just to have the story fresh in your mind. Um, and we've seen in studies that the more we read a story, the better our comprehension is. Um, the medicine bag is full of different um, symbols and underlying themes that are very important. And the more you read, the better you will understand them. Um, you are, once you finish reading the medicine bag, you're then going to go to plan book and click on the link called symbolism video. Um, this video is, it's fairly short, but it just walks you through the general definition of symbolism and when we see it in writing and in text and um, the different stories that we read um, from day to day. When you are watching this video, you're only going to watch it until it reaches 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Um, the reason for this is because then the, the teacher that made the video goes into asking questions about a novel that they're reading in class, which is not a novel that we are reading in class. Um, you'll then open the assignment on Teams that is called the Medicine Bag Symbolism. It's under literature. And you'll see that there are two sets of questions on this worksheet. Um, it's the same worksheet I have pulled up right here on the screen. So you'll have your symbolism questions here, and then you have your analyzing text and structure questions here. Again, make sure you follow directions, but I'm not having you answer those questions right away. What I want you to do is down here, or else add another sheet to this assignment, you are going to, um, you're going to come up with 10 examples of symbolism that you see throughout your life. Um, so I'm going to give you some examples right now. You cannot use the examples that I give you. Um, but some easy examples would be something like um, an evergreen tree. Okay, A green tree that we see around Christmas time, obviously it symbolizes Christmas to us. Um, so a pumpkin. What does a pumpkin symbolize? A pumpkin symbolizes Halloween or fall. Um, then you can go a little further in depth um, with maybe logo type thing. So you see a red cross. What does that represent? That represents the red cross, the blood bank, um, that type of thing. But then you also have things such as um, fire, which was mentioned on your video, that symbolizes um, things of a deeper meaning. So what I want you to do is add 10 different things, not pictures, just type them up, 10 things, 10 symbols and what they symbolize. Um, again, you cannot use the ones that I have just talked to you about. Once you're done with this, um, you are then going to just go back to plan book and read what I wrote under the symbolism in the medicine bag. So it says the actual medicine bag in the story is a symbol um, and how it helps the narrator Martin connect to his great grandfather and understand the great grandfather's past is important to carry into the future. So the medicine bag is a key symbol just to show you that knowing your history and being able to carry that with you is very, very important. Um, another symbol, another time that we see symbolism in the medicine bag is um, when the narrator visits a reservation at the end of the book. Why would this be a symbol? Um, it is a symbol because it's, it's suggesting to the readers without directly stating that grandpa has passed away and he was at the reservation to bury his grandpa. Um, again, it doesn't directly state what happened in the story. It just says his grandfather went to um, the emergency room and then two weeks later they were on the reservation um, where he got the sage and put it in the medicine bag. Um, but if you look at all the symbols, the symbolism does lead us to believe that grandpa has passed away. Um, once you go through all of this, you are then you are then going to go to this worksheet that you should already have uh, pulled up and answer the symbolism questions and the analyzing text and structure questions. Remember, you must read directions. Okay, answer the following questions in complete sentences. Make sure to restate part of the question in your answer. 
Do not start with a pronoun. Be specific. Again, if you start with a pronoun, it will be very, very difficult for me to know who you are talking about. I want you to tell me that you, Grandpa or Martin, um, the specific name of the character that you're referring to. So again, if you have any questions, please let me know and look forward to talking to you soon.